Yeah, how did you he how did you go from taking pictures to being nobody's seen that? Okay, so this was this happened before the police, before all of this happened. When we first got there, there was an older, probably like 50-year-old man sitting by himself. Um, and once we sat down, he turned and just sat and stared at us. His sister was like, oh, he's creeping me out a bit. Um we go to walk into the water to rinse some sand off, come back out of the water, and he is filming. What's going on, guys? I'm here with the uh, viral sensation. I'm sure you've seen her. I mean, her hair change, her hair color has changed, but it's the same exact person. You've seen her from that viral video uh, in which she got put in handcuffs for wearing a bathing suit that they said was too skimpy. A thong is what they called it. Was it a thong? Yeah, it was. It was actually in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, not in Virginia. M Myrtle Beach. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And the way the video starts, you could tell that somebody just, your friend there grabbed the phone and just started recording. What don't we see? And how long is it from when the video started to the interaction started? Yeah. Um, so there, from the time the cops showed up to the time uh, my partner started filming, it was probably about 45 seconds at the most. Um, the cops kind of rocked up with this. We've got a situation that we're already you know, going to diffuse before it even started. And um, they, they didn't really, they came at us kind of like ready, ready for something to happen. Um, so it didn't take very long before he had put me in cuffs. Basically, he came, the cops came up and they come up to us and they said, well, what's the problem, ladies? And my sister and I were like, oh, we don't have a problem. We didn't call you. And yeah. the the police said, no, 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 it's uh, it's your bathing suits. You can't wear those on the beach. And I asked the I asked them, I said, okay, well, where where does it say that? Where's the law that says I can't wear a thong bikini that I bought in a store on the beach? And I was, I asked him, can you show me? And he said no. Um and so once he said no, I said, okay, well, we're done here. Uh let's walk away. Let's leave. And um, I turned, turned my back to him. And that was immediately when he, he rushed me and grabbed me and started forcing me into cuff. And that was it. Was that the Kyle Dick? Was that yeah. K Dick? That was him. Anyways, he, he, it seems like from the very beginning, like they took the wrong approach to it. And it didn't, for, for a town named Myrtle Beach, to have beach in your name and not be um, very well versed on the bathing suit law seems kind of crazy. Had you been there before? Do you live there? Had you been there with that bathing suit before and ever had a problem? Oh, yeah. I live here. I live in Myrtle Beach. Um, I go to, I was actually at that exact same beach the day before the incident in the exact same bikini, the exact same top and bottom. I'm just like, I wear it every time I go, or at least. And what? What about the other people? Are th what is the other bathing suits looking like? Are they similar? Some people do, some people don't. Yeah, exactly. um, You know, girls wear thong bikinis on the beach all the time. Yeah. There are people, obviously, who don't because they're not comfortable in it, which is totally fine. You should, you should be able to go to the beach and wear whatever, whatever you want. Just wear whatever yeah. you want. Yeah. yeah. And this is the thing that gets me, Samantha, with the law. So if there was a law, and we'll get to the part of the story whether there is a law or not, uh, bottoms of bikinis on women have a tendency to move around. So who's to say it doesn't come up and now is now it's illegal because it came up. Is there somebody going to be on the beach with a, with a ruler measuring to make sure that her bikini bottoms didn't come too far up? Like, how do you, how do you ever, it exactly. just, it doesn't seem like a logical law. It's this arbitrary, logical, Ill illogical, vague idea of like your butt showing, um, and even if you say, okay, this style of bikini is okay, and this one isn't, I bought actual thong bikini bathing suits at the stores in Myrtle Beach. So how can you sell a bikini at a store and then turn around and make it yeah. legal wear? So the other girl that was with you was your sister. Yeah. Your real sister? She's my brother's uh, fiance. So. Oh, so, so your sister-in-law. Hmm. Okay. And then 
you could tell, like, and that's what, like, those cops look terrible. Like, I don't think there's anybody in any comment section where that video is posted that takes those cops side because she is, you could tell she's very, very non-aggressive, non-confrontational. She's just like, I don't feel comfortable. Like, I don't want, I don't want to go over there. And he's like, over here. It's like, yeah. dude, how did all this start over a bathing suit? Like, how are you that emotionally invested in this that you're angry about the bathing suit? Who it was. I saw the woman who called. Um, she was an older, uh, she's a Karen, she, right? Is she a Karen? Oh, for sure. She was probably <laughs> in her early 50s, maybe. Yeah. She's early 50s. Um, yeah. She, she had a daughter who was like 12 or 13 with her. Okay. Typical. I mean, she looked like your typical average American. Yeah. 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 Um, but it, you, it was, it was pretty apparent that it was her they called. Oh, she, yeah. In fact, when we were leaving, the police come over to us and they're like, the woman who called is terrified of, or she's petrified of you. That's what he said. She's Wait, petrified. Who, now, who said this? One of the officers? Yeah. Yeah, one of the officers, uh, the other officer, um, Officer Raffi, told us that he was, that the woman was petrified of us, and they asked us to leave because she was too afraid to walk to her car. And we were like, yeah, no. At the end of the day, like, there's something we always say is, her feelings don't trump your rights. Her feelings... Do not, uh, they don't, they do not trump your rights. You have every right to be there. And if she's feeling that's with her, she's got to deal with that. Like you didn't do anything wrong. I okay. Feel- so you, now you're at the car with your sister and, um, he brings out that flimsy little magazine or whatever it was, the yeah. vinyl notebook, and he reads it. And what he reads is not what you're doing at all. It's talking about actual nudity, right? Yeah, and he threw that. He read it like this aha moment. Gotcha. Look right here. It says no nudity, and we were like, "Yeah, cool. We're good with that. No one here is nude. Like none of us are nude. Where are the nude people? Go tell them to put clothes on." But <laughs> that's not us. <laughs> where, where are these people? They're nude. They're not us. You definitely got the wrong people. That's the thing. Like, and the the gentleman that you were with, I got to get him a lot of credit because he was very very calm. And he was making great points. And at some point, they say, get out of here. You're, you're, you're impeding our investigation. We'll, we'll arrest you. And the only reason why they did that, in my opinion, was because he was so logical and making, okay, you, you just said nudity. And then you said she's in a thong. Well, nudity means no clothes. You just used the word in. Was there something underlying? Had you gotten into it? Because I know at one point you said that uh, you knew... Uh, the blonde-haired officer's uh, ex-wife, right? Or ex-fiance? Okay. His wife, his current wife, was engaged previously, and her her ex-fiance um, owned a piercing shop, and she used to work there. And she actually did a bunch of piercings for me when I was still in university. But did you feel like, because it, I mean, it's Virginia Beach. I feel like these officers, uh, like, must have a job, like, half Baywatch. They're dealing with this all the time. Why? Did you ha- ever find out why they acted this way towards you? Is it Was no. there something behind it? I don't think so. I mean, like, Myrtle Beach is not, like, it's not a super big town, so it's not shocking that I wouldn't know um, these officers. And, in fact, after I posted the, some of the stuff and videos, some of my friends who I went to university posted oh, I can't believe Kyle would do that to you. And I was like, huh? But apparently he knows me from when we were, you know, when we would go out as as kids, like when we were like, yeah, 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 yeah. So I I knew both of them apparently, but I don't, I don't really have like a solid ship with them, but um, apparently I knew them enough, but it's not shocking to me that they would, that we don't know each other. Because like I said, Myrtle Beach is not the biggest beach town, but it, I don't. I can't think of any reason that they would have any aggression towards me or towards my sister or towards my partner, other than they didn't like that we weren't gonna just roll over and let them have their like macho moment. Oh, so you maybe it's like maybe it's like this. Like you could wear a thong on the beach, but if we come in here and tell you you're upsetting somebody, then you leave. Yeah. It, 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 maybe maybe they've done that in the past where. People have never stood up to him. Like, 
there is no real concrete law about wearing a thong, but if your uh, attire is bothering a family, then we'll tell you to leave, and 99% of people do what somebody in authority tells them to do. Right. Um, you know. Okay, so now that makes sense. Because I'm like, hey. dude, if you work in Myrtle Beach, you've had to see thongs before. Like, this, this bridge had to have been crossed way a long time ago. So that sure. makes 100% sense. It's just that the fact that you stood up to him. Mm-hmm. Um, they didn't even ask me to leave. Not once did they ask me to leave the beach. Not once did they ask me to cover up. They just straight up said, here's the problem. I said, prove it. They said no. And then I was in handcuffs. And that is, they didn't handle this properly at all. It was like, from as soon as they got there, it was aggression. And then we were like, well, this is, what do you do? Like, why are you aggressive to- towards us? Okay, you know, let's walk away. We don't, we don't want to be involved in this situation anymore. We're getting ready to leave. Like, we'll just leave the beach. Nope, we get... So instead of just letting us leave at the beginning, the cop's like, yeah. you had an attitude towards me, so now you're in cuffs. Yeah, I mean, so... And, and, and what about this? What about this? So what about the irony of the fact that you're supposed to have more clothes on, but here you are detaining a person who doesn't want to be detained, doesn't want to be next to you, but you don't have a mouth guard. You don't have a face guard on. Oh, we, we, that was a huge concern from us. Uh, my dogs. Uh, that was a huge concern from us when it happened. Like I went and got tested after that, just to be, to be sure, because we didn't know, like that guy's clo- the cops close enough. He's basically breathing into my mouth. Like, I'd yeah. rather than sorry. So yeah, that was a huge thing. And then on top of that, he detains, you know, he's detaining me for being uh, inappropriate for, you know, indecent exposure or whatever. And not once in the whole time that they're holding us there, did they try to take us off the beach or cover me up? Yeah. So yeah. he's saying that I'm, I'm indecent, but then it's like, but I'm just going to leave you here indecent can make a scene so now everyone around is paying Yeah, attention. he could have easily put you you and her in the back of the police car. Right, or, you know, said, hey, do you have a pair of shorts, or do you have something yeah. to cover up? But if you're asking me to do something stupid or unreasonable, or something that I shouldn't have to do, just because you're a police officer, I don't have to say yes. I don't have to say sorry. And you still don't right. get to be aggressive towards me. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what, uh, Samantha, that's something that you understand that so many people do not understand. I mean, there's people doing life in prison because uh, police operate in this gray area where they say something to you, but it's really only a request, right? It's not a lawful order. It's just a request, right? There's a lot of partying here, too. We've got bike rallies here every year. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Big bar scene. At least when I went to university here, there was a big club scene. It's not so big anymore, but like, there's still a lot of there's a lot of partying that goes on. The police made it out. Whoever made the call, the lady who made the call, they made it out like we were on the beach, uh, doing drugs, um, trying to get people to I don't know to buy videos of us. I have no idea what that even like. What does that even entail? Like, but were you, were you taking pictures? Not that it matters. You take pictures, people take pictures, selfies. Oh, you weren't even doing that. We weren't taking any pictures. Uh, there was another guy who took pictures of us that we actually had an altercation with because he was just being very creepy and he came over and yelled at us. And um, because my sister confronted him, for- Wait, tell that story. Tell that story. How did you he how did you go from taking pictures to being is nobody's seen that? Okay, so this was this happened before the police, before all of this happened. When we first got there, there was an older, probably like 50 year old man sitting by himself. And he was probably 20, 30 feet away from us. Um, and once we sat down, he turned and just sat and stared at us. And I don't care. I'm minding my own business. I had my back to him. My sister was like, oh, he's creeping me out a bit. Um, we go to walk into the water to rinse some sand off, come back out of the water, and he is filming. So my sister went up to him and was like, hey, did you, did you film us? And he said, no. And she said, can you show me? And uh, so he showed her the video, and it was just a video of us walking out of the water. And she had his phone, and she deleted the, the video. Um, and he got a bit angry, and 
got really defensive and we were like, we just don't want to be in your video. Great. It's not illegal. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's creepy. Does, it's creepy. So we go back to our towel and then about 20 minutes later, he comes over to us and he said, I was going to send that video to my dying father and now I can't. And I was, so I said, Hey guy, the ocean's still there. You can take another video and send it to your father if you want. You just don't want to be in it. <laughs> don't do that. Uh, and it, it turned into like a kind of F you back and forth match. Was um, the he, male, was the, your partner, was he there the whole time? He was surfing. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. Was so, so, so he was away from you. So that's why he probably felt that he had the ability yeah. to do that. Yeah. So he, yeah. He and, was, then he, and then he tried to shame you because he was going to send that picture to his dying father and you ruined yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> the ocean's still there. Like, it's, it's going to be there for a while. Like, you made There's, me delete a picture or a video I was going to send to my dying father. I was like, so do it. Take another yeah. video. Clearly, yeah. yeah. that's not yeah. true. Because it took you 20 minutes to tell us that. And also, yeah. if that was, you would have just taken another video another and sent video. it to the yeah. easiest thing in the world. Yeah. He was he said, what he didn't tell you is he wanted to take the picture of two girls coming out of the ocean to his dying father. Right. Yeah. You know, I don't know what kind of like tug at my heartstrings that was supposed to be, but if you want to send a video of me to your dying father, I don't care and I don't want you to do it. It's very weird. Every bathing suit on the beach, yeah. you cannot buy a bikini that doesn't show your butt. It's not the yeah. style. And even, but, and even if you do, at some point of going in and out of the water, it's going to get to a point where it's not, it's not covering what it was meant to cover. It shouldn't have to take a supervisor. And now that you live in Myrtle Beach, so you know that people wear thongs there all the time. So right. if it's going to be a law, then enforce it all the time, not just on me. Right? Exactly. And also, like, all of that aside, like, whether it is a law or it's not a law or it's got, you know, whatever, if it's an ordinance or the police tell you you should do it, you should do it. I don't care. It's a stupid law and it shouldn't exist. <laughs> yeah, 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 and and it's sometimes it takes something like this just to bring a light on it, and mm -hmm. yeah, hopefully. So, how does that end? They call you over to the car after five or six minutes. The kid with the blonde, the, the officer with the blonde hair, and then the Af African American supervisor. They call you over to the car, and after looking for four or five minutes, they read you a sentence that fits their little narrative right but they didn't t tell you the paragraph before that or the paragraph after that so you go over there and then the phone shuts off did your partner turn the phone off no um so i think on the full video i go over and i looked into the car i think it's still on video up until i walked away um on my youtube channel it's up oh yeah yeah and then how did it end so how does so how does it end yeah, so the, the officer's talking back and forth with me, and he's telling me it was all just the butt cheek stuff. All they could find was something that said, you can't show your butt cheeks. And I kind of went, what about that person? What about that person? What about that person? I can see their butt cheeks. How much of my butt cheek can I not show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There were men in Speedos right next to us. Like, what about the men in Speedos? Like, I don't want, you know, I don't want to get anyone else in trouble, but how can you, you know, do that? How can you throw the book at me and not everyone else on the beach? And he said, yeah. oh, yeah. They're also in violation of the ordinance. And I said, okay, well, you know, are you going to arrest them? And he goes, oh, well, normally we wouldn't respond to that kind of thing. But the woman who called has kids. And so we have, you know, we came out because of the kids. And I was like, so you're only going to come talk to me because this woman's of her child. And I, like, the way I, I answered, I know it didn't sound like very nice of me, but I, I said, I don't care about your kid. It's not my job to be yeah. that parent. Yeah. Like, yeah. Why should I care that your child is there what, when you have, as a parent, have the ability to say, hey, that's an age appropriate bikini. You're not old enough to wear it right now. The end. End of story. Mind your own business. It's done. Yeah. Uh, so I told him, I said, I don't care. And he said, somehow I got to, you know, he said, well, you know, you could just leave the beach. And I was like, oh, I can leave. Well, I tried to do that at the beginning. Why am I still here? I tried yeah. to leave. As soon as the cops came up to us, I tried to leave. And now 
20, 25 minutes later, you're telling me I can actually leave? I didn't even, I didn't say another word. Once he said I could go, I just turned and walked away. We got our stuff and then we walked to my car. Um, but like I said, we all came in one car and uh, my partner came to surf and like, just as the surf was getting good, the cops were kicking us off the beach. You know, we were leaving the beach. And I was like, I told him, I was like, you can stay. We'll call my brother. He's just getting off work. He'll come pick us up. It's fine. It's not a big deal. So we're, the three of us are just waiting in the parking lot for my brother to come. And the cops come over and they're like, oh, the woman who called wants to come to her car, but she's petrified of you. And you guys are, are hanging in the parking lot. Are you going to leave? And we were like, no, no. Who, you're going to ask us to leave again? No. Like, what does she think we're going to do? Like. I don't know, yeah. like, she's of our butt cheeks out here, too. Like, close your eyes yeah. and go. I don't know. This is weird. Like, yeah. behavior. But, yeah, probably so they just kept that, they kept that bowing down to this lady. Now it's not even about the thong. Now she just feels uncomfortable going to her car. But the police yeah. were there. Like, so just go. Like, we, lady, we can't keep on bending over backwards for you. At what point are you going to stand up to her instead it's, of keep on putting yourself in this bad position? She, she just wanted to be dramatic. She wanted to have some, this, this whole ordeal was all about her feelings and yeah. her feeling unsafe about us. And we are some degenerates. I don't even know. Yeah. But yeah, so the police, we told the police, we're like, we're not leaving. We're waiting for someone to pick us up. And um, so they escorted her to her car. And like, we didn't even look at her. Like, I could not even tell you what she looked like. I couldn't really tell you what her, like, what yeah. her child like she gets in her car, they drive away or they start to drive away. And she turns around looking at her car and gives us a little mm -hmm, smug wave as she leaves. And we were like, what the hell is this about? So have people, have people recognized you on the street? Oh the yeah. From the bathing suit video, right? Yeah. Yeah. I've had it at different stores and uh, like, I've been, I've met a few like friends of friends and they're like, I know you. I'm like, yeah, cool. <laughs> And what other what other platforms can people come see you on? So I'm also on Instagram. I'm at sspanda underscore. Um, my I also I am a YouTube creator, uh, OnlyFans creator. Yeah. So I am professionally an acrobat. Um, I've been working in entertainment since I was like nineteen. Um, since yeah. the pandemic happened, they force us online. OnlyFans is a great platform for that because I can post circus stuff. I can post stripper stuff. I can interact with people. So it's kind of like a virtual online stripper club slash circus show. Um, so, so, so people pay uh, a base fee or a, a certain fee and if they go to www.onlyfans.com. Yep. And, and www.onlyfans.com. Oh, go ahead and say it. Say it. Slash Mercy, M-E-R-C-Y, M-I-A, Mia. M -A -L. I'll put the link to that at the bottom of the screen while we're, while we're while, while this part is going over. Okay. And what I want you guys to do when you subscribe, go on there and give ideas of what you think, uh, she, what would you like to see her do on YouTube, right? Like what kind of, cause I, I'm trying to rack my brain cause she has such a great personality, outgoing personality. Um, uh, the fact that she's not scared and she stood up to the police, uh, you know, what, what would you like to see her do? I know what they're going to say. They're going to say auditing. And whether you know what First Amendment auditing is or not, but that's what they're going to say. But it, and, and that would be because I was talking to one of my friends. He's like, man, the day comes when there's a pretty First Amendment auditor who just goes around standing up for her rights um, like that. That person is just going to burn up the Internet. But, uh, yeah, put on there. Subscribe to her. Subscribe to her, her page, Samantha Panda. I'll put the link in there in the description. The, the, the page would be on the bottom. And. Just put comments in what you would like to see her do. So, because we're going to try, I want you guys to help me. Obviously, put Disorderly Product News sent me and uh, put what you think she can do because she's obviously got a great personality. And uh, I think uh, you guys would like it, see more well, of it. Go to her Patreon, support her Patreon, help her find, help her buy a bathing suit, support her. <laughs> Help her get a bathing suit because she cannot go to the beach in that bathing suit. This girl wants to go to the beach. She wants to have fun, but she's going to be locked up all summer because she does not have a bathing suit to wear. So, guys, go to the Patreon and help her buy a bathing suit because uh, Todd, K. Dick is coming out and he's looking for her. So, okay. Samantha, I appreciate you coming on Disorderly Product News with you. And uh, 
your partner and your sister-in-law the best. And uh, thank you for coming on Disorderly Product News. Thank you so much. It was awesome. Had a good time.